Grace Corral and I'm doing another cook with me video um, I'm you're looking at my stove right now well, the very first thing I want to start with tonight is I'm going to fill this pot in the back here up with my vegetable oil that looks like a lot of oil but it takes a lot to do this and what I want to do tonight is my version of fast food at home it seemed like every time I went out with my kids they would order the exact same thing and that was chicken tenders and fries and I thought you know what I think that I can pull together chicken tenders and fries at home and save a whole lot of money so that's exactly what I decided to do so um, I'm going to turn this burner on. What we want to do is we want to allow our, all of our oil to get good and hot so that when we get our chicken ready to pop into the oven, we can pop our fries into the oil and they'll get done right at the same time. And that way it will be uh, ready and hot and yummy and ready to serve everybody because I know that everybody is so hungry. So while this is heating up, I'm going to get my chicken out and then we're going to go to the next step. Okay, I've got some olive oil in my pan here. I've got some flour and breadcrumb all mixed together with a little bit of salt and pepper. That's all this is. And I've got egg that has been scrambled. There's four eggs and a little bit of water. I'm gonna get my fork out of there. I've got a nine by 13 pan, glass pan over here. And depending on how much chicken you're going to do, it's gonna depend on, you know, how big your glass pan is. I have my oven preheated at 350 degrees. So the first thing I'm gonna do, and I'm not, I don't know why I have these tongs. Um, <laughs> I don't need them yet. So I cut, these are boneless, skinless chicken breasts. I cut them into strips. You can use the chicken tenderloins. However, I find that they're a little bit more costly. So I just do the math and I end up coming home with the chicken breast. So I want to dip them in the egg mixture and then I want to dredge them in the flour and the breadcrumbs and I'm using my can says plain back here but I'm actually using Italian style breadcrumbs because I think they have they add a lot of flavor to it now if you wanted to you could add some um, some garlic powder some paprika some onion powder whatever you would want to your uh, breadcrumb mixture but this is the way we like it, kind of a little bit on a plain Jane side, but still quite tasty. So I'm going to keep dredging and um, getting my um, chicken down into this mixture. And remember, you want a little bit of flour and breadcrumb because you want a thick coating on it. And all you want to do is brown both sides of your chicken. So you're not looking to really completely cook your chicken. You just want to brown it. I made these the other day. I posted a picture of them on Facebook. I usually make, it's Friday, I usually make pizza. But I got such a response about my chicken tenders. Everybody wanted to know how I made them, so I decided why not shoot it for a cook with me video because we always do kind of a little more of a treat type dinner on Friday nights instead of having pizza I have a lot of chicken in my freezer so why not do this now between you and me the smaller the pieces the tastier the chicken I don't know why but I like the little browner parts of the chicken and I dip this in um, some you know after it's cooked I use a dipping sauce of that by the onion salad dressing from Costco it makes this over the top so I'm going to wash my hands I'm going to continue to brown the chicken get it in a 9 by 13 I'm going to wash some potatoes 
I leave the skin on my potatoes, but I'm gonna cut them up like steak fries, and those will be good and ready to get in my oil. So I'm gonna let these cook. I'll be back to show you what they look like. Hey when guys, we're back. You see how brown these are? These are good and done. So what I'm gonna do is just take them out of here and place them in my glass pan. And I think the browner, the better, because that's the ones that I like are the really good and done ones. <laughs> so I'm gonna let this one cook for a few more minutes. I'm gonna continue doing this and I'm going to get the rest of my chicken in here and then um, we'll show you what is next. Here we go. I finally found the straighter thingy. I always use this. I call it the straighter thingy. It's actually falling apart on me. It's my KitchenAid. I use it so I don't burn myself with the oil. So, a couple of tips when you are going to fry something. And I say this in every video that I fry things because I don't want any of you contacting me telling me you burnt your house down. First of all, you just want your oil only yay high because when you put the stuff in it's going to foam up and it can actually overflow and burn your house down so you don't want that so i'm just going and also you don't want to overload your oil or you'll lower the temperature of the oil and it won't whoop, won't cook be careful and stay back from it So I'm going to throw my chicken tenders in the oven for 15 minutes and then my potatoes should be done around the time that the chicken tenders come out. But I thought I would show you real quickly why these are finishing up. I bought these little baskets from the Dollar Tree and this saves on having to wash dishes especially when you have kids at home through the summer or your friends like us when you have a swimming pool they have lots of friends over and this saves you from you know they just throw this little paper away and you rinse the baskets off and then you're done so i just use a piece of wax paper in the middle and then i load in my chicken tenders and we're gonna load, I'm gonna load some in here because I know everybody is starving. I do between four and five chicken tenders a person. They are pretty nice size this time. Um, and they're really filling, so I just put those in and then I get ready to put my french fries in the basket next. Now my uh, french fries are looking pretty good and done. Now you can use frozen fries if you wanted to fry them like this, you could. Um, I just honestly just cut up my potatoes into wedges. I don't even uh, take the skin from them and I find that they're delicious. My kids love them that way. We call them more of a country fry, french fry or a steak fry. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this section of fries out. And I'm going to put those on a paper towel. And remember, be careful because they are hot. I have burnt myself uh, making french fries before. And I also have a relative that burned her house down making <laughs> french fries. So we don't really have good luck when it comes to making the french fries. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't do them. I don't know. <laughs> but anyhow. I'm going to take the fries out. I'm going to let them sit on the paper towel for a little bit of time just so that the grease can, um, you know, get off of them a little bit. I'm going to salt them just a tad. My husband doesn't really like a lot of salt, but this pan of fries will not be enough for my family, so I'm going to have to do a whole another thing of french fries for my gang. So I'm going to put some new fries in there. 
And my, my son has actually gotten really smart about buying potatoes because I had him go to the store and buy me um, a bag of potatoes because usually I have him peel and cube potatoes like in the winter time when I make potato soup or I make mashed potatoes. So now he looks for the bag that has the biggest potatoes in it because he knows that it's going to take him less time to peel and to cube those potatoes if the potatoes are ginormous. So anyhow, the potatoes I cut up were huge for this. I'm going to show you guys that this is the dressing that I was uh, talking about. Let's see if I can get this on the film here. Um, this is the Vidalia onion salad dressing. This is the bomb. You get two of these great big bottles at Costco and it's really affordable. We're also going to use Sweet Baby Ray's barbecue sauce as a dipping sauce. Everybody loves Sweet Baby Ray's. Once I get the rest of this plated up, I'll come back and I'll show you what it looks like. All right, I'm all done. This is what it looks like. I just, uh, you know, kind of put it all in there together, the chicken tenders and the fries, and then I put a little bowl. These are from the Dollar Tree as well, and we use that for dipping. And I've got four of them here, because we're all here tonight and we're eating dinner together, which is awesome. And that is what I got left there of my chicken tenders. What That's what they look like when they come out of the oven. I hope you all enjoyed this cook with me uh, video. Uh, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't ever subscribed, please do so. I'm going to enjoy dinner with my family. Hope you all have a great 4th of July weekend. Or that you had by the time you see this. Because this is Friday. And I will be talking to you guys again soon. Bye-bye.